Well, finally, we're on the grid of the 24 Hours of Spa. We're on the grid in a good position, really, because this car is 15th overall and the YouTube car is 22nd. So we're at the front end of the grid, 67 cars in the race. And this is a real driver's track, you know, this, it takes everything, the good car, good setup, and a very good driver. And remember, this is going to be a very changeable uh, race, wet, dry, night, day, whatever you want. This is 24 hour racing, and it's GT racing. We hit half past four, the lights go green, the pace quickens, everybody blasts away. 65, GT3 cars at least. Oh, and that is a big off for the Nissan. 32 is in the wall with some force. Well, unfortunately, we've had a big incident in uh, Eau Rouge, probably one of the most fearsome corners uh, on any racetrack in the world. And uh, Alex has gone off there very fast and uh, hit the barriers very hard, but I'm glad to say that he's okay. Something failed and one minute I was going forwards, the next minute I was going backwards into the barriers. Just really feel bad for the team and uh, for the drivers and you know, because we had a strong car, the pace was good. Finally, I got a little, little graze on my foot, but uh, apart from that, I'm absolutely fine. And it's a bummer and uh, all we can do now is root for our, our, the other team car. I've done the complete two stints already and the car seems okay now with less uh, temperature on the, on the track and the car is better, less under steering and uh, yeah, we, we improve in every lap, every stint, uh, we, we, we're having better pace so that's really nice. So I just had my third stint in the car, I felt like I had a puncture. It turned out to be, it was a lot of rubber pickup in the end. But they cut it in the car, the, the steering was off centre and then you sort of can't take the risk really. So I thought we, we almost need to pit anyway. So And then Bob came over the radio and said, oh, how do you feel if you stayed in the car again? Because no other driver's ready to get in the car. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll stay in. We've just got to the 12 hour mark, 12 hours gone, 12 hours to go. We've just scored points for coming in the Pro Am category. Uh, Dawn has broken. Go back in the car, make some double or triple stints. But it's only two hours left, so yeah, I'm in the shit. But it's uh, the same fun to watch here on the chair. A bear, 25, is the surviving Team RJN car. The total 24 hours of Spa is complete. The Spa 24 hour week has been basically excellent. <laughs> Seventh overall and third in the Pro-Am and the Pro-Am class was so competitive that in actual fact there was a more chance of a pro-am car winning than, than a pro, you know, because that's where we are now. The driving standards are so high. To be on that podium, 
fantastic. A race that's 60 years old. They must have been delighted. Hello, I'm Peter Pizzera, the German winner of the GT Academy. We are here at the 24 hours uh, total of Spa in Belgium. And I will show you a lap, introduce you in a lap of a night qualifying. So you 